Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel 3 Dust. In this video, we are going to practice this sheet metal part inside Fusion 360 and we'll explore sheet metal workspace inside Fusion 360. I will explain you the right component approach in sheet metal workspace. This is tutorial exercise 09 and if you had not watched my other videos on Fusion 360, check out our other videos as well. In this video, I am going to refer this technical drawing. So if you want to practice with me, you can download the PDF of this technical exercise file from the video description below. So without wasting much time, let's dive into Fusion 360 design space. So we are now into Fusion 360. So the first thing that we are going to do is we'll open our data panel. Here you can see. We'll go on to the right project folder. So this is our YouTube project folder. We'll just double click to open this project folder. Here you can see. And we'll go on to the exercise folder. And we'll just double click to open the exercise folder. And here we are going to save our file. So we'll just click on the save here to save our file. We'll give it a name. Uh, this is exercise 9. And before that, I will make sure that the location uh, where we are saving is correct. It is not correct now. So we'll just change that location. It's inside the YouTube project folder. Then we'll go into the exercise folder. So we'll go into the exercise folder. We'll just double click that to select that. Here you can see. And now we'll rename it with the exercise 09. And we'll click on save here to save this file. Here you can see the moment I had clicked, it got saved in the data panel and the file name is also changed here. Here you can see. Now the next thing is that we have to make sure that the units are correct. So we'll just go on to the document settings there and here you can see the units are millimeter now. So it is correct. And if you want to change the unit, just click over here and change the type of units you want. Here you can see the multiple system of units are here like centimeter inches. But for now, we'll just keep it millimeter and we'll press cancel over here and the next thing is that we have to make sure since the uh, work of this data panel is over I can just close it from here and now we have to make sure that the design history is turned on so here you can see the bottom panel over here shows that my design history is turned on here you can see uh, we got multiple design spaces so we'll just go on to the sheet metal design space and here the first thing that we are going to do is we are going to define the sheet metal rules so we'll just click over that and here you can see these are some predefined sheet metal rules from Fusion 360 and for this project we are going to use stainless steel so we'll modify this one here you can see these are the specification of sheet metal stainless steel we'll click on the edit icon and we'll change the thickness to 6 millimeter and here you can see we'll click on save so here you can see it got updated we'll close from here and the next thing is that we'll go into the create panel we'll activate the new component here you can see and here uh, I will rename my component so this is the exercise 9 so accordingly I will rename it here you can see I had written exercise 09 and now I will select my correct sheet metal rule so this is the stainless steel that I had modified and will press ok so here you can see my component has been created with uh, this particular sheet metal rule so uh, now we are ready to move forward here you can see the details uh, I just make sure that the things are correct. Now we'll click on the create a sketch tool uh, inside the create panel and we'll select the plane on which I want to create my sketch. So this is the top plane where I want to create a sketch and now we'll start creating our first sketch. So for all technical details I will strongly recommend you to refer to our technical drawing. So I will go on to the create panel over here then we'll go on to the rectangle. We'll activate center rectangle tool from here. We'll select the center and we'll drag outside like this and we'll specify the dimension of this rectangle. So I want to keep uh, the dimension of this rectangle as 150 by uh, 100 millimeters. So I will just press 100 and we'll press enter. Here you can see, we had created the rectangle. And since I had defined everything for this rectangle, so the sketch is completely defined. Now I will go on to create panel over here again and we'll activate our slot tool. And we are going to use center slot. I will create two slots like this. So for now, I'm just randomly creating the slots. And now I will start defining the things. So I will make sure that these two points, these three points are collinear. So I had selected the point. And we'll make sure that these are all uh, in a horizontal. Here you can see. And we'll activate equal constraint. And we'll apply the equal constraint between. Uh, before that, I will just make sure that I had provided the dimensions here to uh, define the position of my slot. So here you can see I'm just making it 30 millimeters apart from the origin 
and now I will define these two as equal. So I had just applied the constraint, and now I will define one of the slot center to center distance is 30 millimeters. And uh, now I will again define the di ra radius of this slot as 6 millimeter. Here you can see, or maybe 8 millimeters. And we'll click on the finish a sketch. So before moving, I will start, uh, I will make an arc on the bottom. So I will activate the center point arc from here. I will uh, locate the center first, then the two point of the arcs. Here you can see. And we'll make sure that it is touching the side sides of the rectangle and we'll define this two point as uh, on vertical position here you can see though both are in same collinear position in vertical direction now i will define the radius of this arc uh, this one i want to keep 35 and then we'll define the center of this arc uh, from the rectangle so for now this vertical distance is 15 millimeter we had to change this 30 i think 30 is higher so we'll change that to 20 millimeters here so we'll just change this to the dimension as 20 millimeters and here you can see and we'll click on the finish the sketch and we'll activate our flange tool and we'll select the profile and here you can see it got created and again we'll activate our flange tool from here and we'll select both the edges here you can see these are the two edges i had selected and then we'll provide the flange distance this one i want to keep 100 millimeters so here you can see the result 100 millimeters it is automatically taking the band radius since we are into sheet metal worker space and we'll press ok to accept the result here you can see now we'll activate the fillet tool we'll select these two corners i want to apply a fillet of 50 millimeters so here you can see the results we got now we'll create a sketch on this face so we'll select the face we'll click on the create a sketch then we'll create a center a circle over here like this and we'll make sure that this is concentric with the fillet profile and we'll define uh, we'll create one more circles like this and now i will make sure that the outer circle is construction line and we'll define the circles diameter so this one i want to keep 30 millimeters and the outer one i just want uh, first i will create uh, one more circle over here and we'll make sure that they are all collinear with the center and now what i will do i will just define the this circle this one i want to keep 60 so this is this will just act as a pcd so now i will define this circle this one i just want to keep 10 millimeters and i will uh, make sure that uh, i had created a circular pattern of this circle by selecting the center point at this origin i will make sure that uh, this has been patterned by four number of times so i will change the numbers over here by quantity four and will press ok here you can see we got the results now what we can do we can just click on the finish the sketch from here and we'll orbit little bit and we'll activate our extrude tool and we'll select all these profi profiles and these are all five profiles that we want to make cut so i will just press minus six since the thickness is minus six and we'll press ok here you can see uh, we had made it this kind of profile now we'll work on this face so we'll select this face we'll activate the create a sketch tool from here and we'll activate the slot tool inside the create tool over here here you can see we'll go on to the create tool and we'll expand the create tool we'll activate our slot tool we'll use this center to center slot so one point of the center slot as the, this side and the other is some at particular distance and now i will define the dimension of this slot so this one i want to keep 60 millimeter here you can see and the radius i want to keep as 12.5 so uh, here is the result now i will create a uh, four more circles on two on this side and two on this side and i will make sure that all these four circles uh, these two circles first in a collinear position vertically and these two circles in collinear vertical position and then these two circles in collinear horizontal position and these two circles in collinear horizontal position so we had applied the constraints and now we'll make sure that all the four circles are equal so we'll select all the four circles and we'll apply the equal constraint here you can see all got equal now what i can do i can just define the position of these circles uh, between the distance uh, is 40 millimeter and from this is it this is 20 millimeter and from this side this is again 15 millimeter and will repeat the same on this side this one is also 15 millimeter now i will define the diameter of the circle so we'll just activate our dimension tool and we'll select the circle 
and we'll define the dimension of this circle diameter of this circle so this one i just want to keep 5 or maybe uh, 10 millimeters i think 10 is good we'll click on the finish sketch so here is the profile we got we'll activate the extrude tool and we'll select all the profiles that are where i want to make a cut and we'll give a distance of minus 6 millimeter since i already told you the thickness is 6 millimeter and by pressing ok here you can see this is the result we got so this is all sheet metal result we had created using sheet metal workspace inside fusion 360 so if you had any questions or doubt you can just comment below in the video uh, because i had followed a uh, right approach to do this now i'm going to create a flat pattern from this so i had activated the flat pattern tool and will select the face and here you can see it is giving me a flat pattern uh, drawing here now i can export this as a dxf as well if i want to use this file for cnc machining or something like that i can just now click on finish flat pattern over here so here you can see uh, the flat pattern has been created so in any time if you want to activate it i will be able to see that pattern and if i want to make drawing from this i can make drawings as well so if you want me to uh, if you want to know how we can create drawings from the flat pattern just uh, comment below in the video in the next tutorial or in the upcoming tutorial i will try to explain how we can create uh, drawings that will explain all the details and dimensions of this sheet metal component so guys uh, tell me how did you like this video or not uh, if you are new to this channel then please please subscribe to this channel and like my videos as well thank you